All right, let's see. Here's it trying to record me. Um, let's see here. Now if I tap it, let's see. It's recognizing Grant. See, then it defocused him. What if I hit Grant? Oh, well, you moved out of frame. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Grant. It's not recognizing you now. It was before. You're just, you're just too white. I'm too <laughs> white. You see, that's an issue. That's the problem. It works for me. He's too white, guys. It's not working. It's my conclusion. Now I'm trying it at, uh, because at 60, the tracking is unavailable at 2.750. And, um, you know, like, let's see here. I'll, I'll tap on my face. Because right now it's right, just... I'll get in the background and then see if it recognizes me coming in. Yeah, see yeah. if it's recognizing me because I'm so handsome. Just a sec. Okay, so now face track is on, and uh, what it seems to do is when it's further away, it has my head in frame, but when it goes further in, that reduces and it refuses to acknowledge that I have an upper forehead and hair. And as I go out, you know, you see you have like upper frame area a little bit again, it'll allow it to move up and down. But as I go in, it just says, no, buddy. Only my face is visible. So that's a problem that needs an update as well. But, let me ask you this. If I go like this, does that help? It doesn't seem to do anything, man. Wow, nothing helps, huh? <laughs> no, it focuses on specifically what it wants. I just unfocused it. And once I, uh, there's another issue for me. I don't know what's going on. Once I uh, unfocus it, so aim is the only one that magically gets this to work. Then it's not focused again. You know what I mean? On my face. And I can't tap it again. Okay. So I, I had to do it really fast. Okay. I didn't realize you had to do it that fast. Yeah. A lot of people are going to, are going to, that's going to fuck with them is all I'm yeah. saying. Um, it's still, it's like, Hey, you sort of have a, have a head at that distance, but like, why? You know, what? it's gonna get worse as your hairline gets better. You're really gonna be invisible on the smaller one here. <laughs> this is this is it's not gonna work for you very well. It's not. Gonna I work. hate this. I'm just saying. Can I get an update for this too? Also, please, DJI or some third party company, release some sort of phone. If DJI, anybody that allows me to yes. run with a little 480p screen, make it like twenty dollars, yeah. runs the app. I don't care. Ten dollars, twenty dollars is insane. It could just be a screen, and then it could be no, yeah, just so cheap. Yeah, because I need it something. Need to be an actual phone fold. Because I can't draw boxes on this tiny little screen. That's the Osmo Pocket Two that allows that. So if you could get an update that allows me to draw little boxes on the touch screen, that would be helpful. Yeah. That would also be helpful. I mean, I'm just saying, these are the updates that I've noticed. It might just, we might just gotta be, it would be uh, creating enough gyro data with all the stuff we've done that people can just release our bigger DJI directly, I'm hoping, like, at some point, 2020, 2024, it can appear out of nowhere, you know, under my Christmas tree, you know what I'm saying? That'd be sexual if the little... The, the little Asian elves, you know, come out of the sea covered in squids, raping them and uh, give me a run under my tree. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, man. The box is actually centered around, like, it, it's, go, it's, the box is covering from your groin to your neck. Pretty good. Okay, so it, it decided to draw a box automatically without a phone or anything because I had no control over drawing boxes over at least the upper half of my body. Yeah, it's 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 actively acting like it's tracking your body. Okay, so you hold still, and I'll move towards you and see what happens. Okay, when I do various things, I'm gonna do a first person shooter test. Just a second. Um, 
I tap the screen and uh, it's incredibly unprecise. It won't let you center tap. There, I did it. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. I, I was just saying to see. It's really bad. I just have to say, guys. Um, I w it took me a lot of taps to again get it to center on him manually. It, it was always off. Okay. So, it, it, I don't know how well that tracks. All types of motion have to be equated for. So, here we go. How did that look? Pretty fabulous. Okay, good, good, good. See, the problem here is though, let's do an example of what happens when it's set up and I try to back away from it Dude, when I set it up myself. when you backed away from it right now, it already did it. As you backed away and the light wrapped from, the, from above, it hit the back of your head and started going to the forward of your head as it did it. It started to lose focus and pretend like above your head there was a halo that was your head of light. And that's what it's doing. Yeah. It started to lose focus and you can see the box it pulled up past. Okay, so the ultimate issue here is that what we're going to have to test and test next because this is what I want to do solely all the time is I need, for example, it to focus on not just my face, but it won't because I have to be at a great distance which doesn't work. You see how that doesn't work. You have to have a phone. You can never use it if yeah. that doesn't work that way. So let's say you're downward on the ground, right? And then like I'm down real close and then you, you tap to focus on me. Well, it's auto perfectly focusing because I'm using it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, okay. So I need an example of me using it then like, uh, yeah. Anyways, it won't focus correctly. It will lose me as I even go up and away from it to even do anything. Like, and just like completely like not want to bring down like the vision at me. It, it, it won't do it. Yeah. Every time I go to operate it. So my magic brother, of course, he can do whatever he wants. But this is a major issue and it doesn't help me at all in when I'm recording. Yeah, I know, and uh, it feels like there's just, everybody seems to be irradiating because, like, every sound of a person rushing past that puts dust up in the air, it's a real dusty road, and I swear to God, it just messes up the camera, all the dust floating around and the particles of radiation bouncing off the sunlight, I don't know. It's annoying. All right. <clears throat> the iffy issue I have with the active track is that when I put it down low on the stand, for example here, high quality example, 4K50, what it tracks at 10 frames under 60, I'll stand up and it'll lose focus with my face and head and just not commit at all every time, like clockwork. So here I go. All right, I'm standing up. And now I'm moving backward. Yeah, didn't track it. Absolutely no tracking. Uh, it failed to do what it was supposed to. I'll track it again in a daylight setting. It, be it, be it behaves exactly the same. There's absolutely no difference. And that's a uh, major issue because without some sort of phone on me or something, uh, it just it just doesn't do what it's supposed to. It might for other people. It might be something to do with my head, my face, my body's energy. But... It's not working so that's incredibly annoying because i can't as it is set this on a stand and use this reliably as a focused cameraman all right i'm going to test the same thing outside 4k 50 base track on let's see how well it focuses when i back up and then try to walk past the camera or off to one side for example i usually walk over it and pass It's already lost tracking. Have my face. Nope. It refuses to refocus. All right, let's try again. All right, I'm gonna try to back it up again. Okay.
very slow tracking. Very slow. Needs a more aggressive follow mode. Faster. That's to say the least. Okay, so I'm back at about here. If it still isn't tracking me, I don't know how. It's in 4K. So I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk this way. Yeah, it's not tracking me. It, it, it's lost tracking. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I put it in fast follow. Let's see what it does now. I'm gonna stand up. Tracking me, still tracking me, okay. Not tracking me anymore. As soon as I stand up and back up, there's this huge issue with the DJI where it doesn't want to track anymore whatsoever. It just doesn't want to track. Uh, this needs to be fixed with an update because it's not doing anything that it should. That's hyper annoying.